Jesus suffered injustice and abuse after abuse during the Passion Week before he died for us on the cross. Later, the famous Apostle Paul said he wants to know and identify with Christ, not only in the victory of the resurrection, but also the fellowship of his sufferings. In today's passage, we learned and know and understand what Jesus have gone through in his sufferings before he was crucified. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is Jesus was betrayed by his dear friend. Jesus' pain was not just physical. Judas, a close disciple of Jesus, warmly greet Jesus with a kiss. But this kiss is the exact signal that he is giving to the authority who came to arrest Jesus. This is a kiss of unfaithfulness. Jesus previously had shown much love and respect for Judas, but in return, his love was rejected and betrayed by his dear friend for 30 silver coins. Jesus must be deeply hurt. The second thing I've learned is Jesus was disowned by Peter. Peter was concerned with Jesus after he was arrested, so he followed the crowd and the troops. Yet he did not have the courage to have a clear association with Jesus. So uh, he followed at a distance. When Peter was conf uh, confronted, he intensely denied Jesus three times. At the crowing of the rooster, Jesus looked through the crowd and made a direct eye contact with Peter. Peter immediately know of his sin of disowning Jesus. Jesus must be deeply hurt again. The third thing I've learned is Jesus was mocked and shamed and condemned. Jesus was blindfolded, struck, mocked, beaten repeatedly by the soldiers. The soldiers even dare him to prophesy who beat him. Jesus refused to use his divine power and authority, but to suffer silently for us. The religious leader tried to find evidence against Jesus, but there was none to hold up. Eventually, they used God's word, Jesus' word, against him. It was injustice uh, and a kangaroo court for Jesus. My application today is, Jesus went through much more pain and th than physical. He died, he shamed, he was betrayed, he was condemned unfairly. He suffered repeatedly because of the gravity of our sins to keep us from God. And it especially have much meaning to me and my family because of what Jesus did. I can see my wife in heaven one day and because of the love of God for our family. And we should meditate on this love and his willingness to suffer for all of us. And it should motivate us to love him even more each day. My prayer today is, Lord, thank you for loving us so much that you went through all the sufferings and abuses for us. May your suffering and love motivate us to be more like you each day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.